Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing a Kendra's card challenge. You just saw there that I have 15 different cards. This is actually part one of three videos that I'm making. We're making cards one through five today. This is sketch number one. As you can see there, I'm using some scrap paper <laughs> to do um, some of my um, borders there. Um, I had changed up this sketch to go horizontal instead of vertical because of that seahorse paper. Kendra makes it really easy to see which way the paper needs to be cut and if you have directional patterns on it, which way they need to go. And I still messed it up. So horizontal was the way we decided to go with this. I am using Spellbinders Under the Sea card kit that I unboxed as part of their surprise box in an earlier video. I'll try to link that. So if you didn't see that, you can watch that. And then I'm also going to link Kendra's card challenge video, how she ends up cutting the paper and all that information as well, in case you wanted to do this challenge for yourself. It is a quarterly challenge that Cards by Kendra puts on. So this is the first quarter. It actually ends the end of March. I actually only heard about it like two weeks ago. So I had to get my cards done real fast. So um, I'm excited about the next challenge number 10 um, that will be coming in April because I feel I'll have more time to actually make these cards and maybe I can make more than one challenge set. So we'll see how it goes. But for now, I really did enjoy doing this challenge. It is a lot of work, though. <laughs> I will say that. Um, if you watch all of, all three of these videos, know um, you're seeing like 10 to 15 minutes uh, for all 15 cards kind of thing. Um, this actually took me probably an hour or more for each set of five cards. Um, and that was only after probably two to three hours of prep work. So as you can see, all the mats on the pieces or everything cut up, just the designing of the actual card of what I wanted to put on it and that kind of thing, um, picking out the different die cuts and um, the sentiments and everything, that took a while, probably two to three hours for me. So all in all, making 15 cards probably took about five, six hours altogether. So, and that was with following these sketches and having it all spelled out for me with how to cut my pattern paper. So <laughs> you can imagine how long some of the one cards that I come up with um, sometimes takes me. So um, here I'm just putting some more embellishments on it, and then here's my first card. I love the seahorse and the gold. So this second card, I decided instead of the uh, pendant banner, I think that's the name for it. Um, Kendra does say, you know, a two-inch shape, three-inch shape. Um, the thing that you have to be specific about is the pattern paper and where it's supposed to go. Um, or how it's supposed to be cut, that's how, that's what makes the challenge. But she does say the rest is up to you kind of thing. So um, she put a pendant. I decided to put a one, two, three, four, five, a uh, hexagon on mine. <laughs> and of course you saw there, I did run out of adhesive uh, at least once during this, um, this first video. I think I ran out of my second um, roll of adhesive by the third video and then I was completely out so I ended up just going straight to just glue <laughs> for the rest of the time so I now have to make an order to scrapbook.com because I'm out of that rolling adhesive <laughs> I really like the mermaid fairies unicorns this card kit was just up my alley um, so I was really excited that I received it in the surprise box because it just it's just so pretty. I just love all the colors. Right here I am putting some foam foam tape on the mermaid just to um, bump it up some more. And then of course I'm adding some more of those die cuts uh, just to help with making it personalized and sparkly. <laughs> and there's number two. Oh, it's so pretty. 
Um, I did decide to bling it up some more. I had such a hard time with um, these embellishments. Um, they have some sticky to them, but they tend to fall off or I get them stuck in my finger, as you can see. So I tend to put a little bit of glue on them just for extra stick, and then I struggle to get them off my fingers. Oh. All right, and that is card number two. Dance with fairies, ride a unicorn. <laughs> I love it. So number three, I brought in some uh, more holographic paper. Uh, I used some paper from a Hobby Lobby stash that I have going on here. Um, this was also when I realized that not all of my um, little Ziploc bags had <laughs> my card bases in it. I had apparently only put card bases in some of them and not all of them so as you can see i was more prepared with some cards than i was with others here i'm just putting that dark purple on first just to create that first mat and then the holographic paper which is so shiny and so pretty i love rainbows um and then we're going to put more of that purple paper on there and then a strip of that pattern paper and that was one of the original papers from the six that I chose. Um, this challenge, you did take six, uh, six by six. Ugh, that's hard to say. Six sheets of six by six paper um, to create these 15 cards. And then plus all the card stock that goes with it. So, And then you have another piece of that um, pattern paper for that pennant banner I'm gonna call it a banner <laughs> and then my mermaid that I'm just gluing on there I do use tweezers here and there when I can figure out tweezers but sometimes I just I struggle no matter what um, I am using the sentiment have a fantastic day from that stamp set that's one that also that I got from Hobby Lobby I love Hobby Lobby <laughs> it's one of my pla favorite places to buy crafts so you see several paper pads and stamp sets and ink from them in my uh, craft room here so and also almost all of these embellishments come from Hobby Lobby as well except for the embellishments that came with the under the sea kit with spell binders so that was my third card and now here is sketch four I think sketch four ended up being my favorite card not only because of the colors but I just feel like for me, the design just came out the best, and it just is the most attractive to my eye out of these first five cards. So there I'm putting on a light blue mat, and as you can see, my dark blue mat has some um, um, a die cut uh, cut out of it. That's just to help make my stash last longer um, and get used a little bit more. Not all of the mats have things cut out of them, but if I can, I do. Because who's going to see them except the people who watch these videos and me. I am putting a little bit of cardstock on those edges. That's just so that second pattern paper will actually be smooth. Um, I don't do this for everything. Um, but if I notice that there's going to be a lot of like difference in height, um, I tend to actually add some more cardstock to it just so it's uh, smoother and flatter. Um, I did emboss uh, the circle with um, one of my um, new embossing plates. It's brand is Park Lane and it's actually from Joann's. I didn't actually know that Joann's had craft card making supplies until I was watching a uh, YouTube video by Beth Adili and she had a uh, an unboxing where she had picked things up from Joann's and I was like I have a Joann's near my house and so I immediately had to go stake it out which they have beautiful paper there but everything is way more expensive than I feel they should be except for their embossing folders in which case there was a sale online and so I bought a bunch it was a glorious day I love embossing it's one of the reasons I got my die cut machine so that the dark blue mermaid there that I 
have um that is one of the dies that came with the kits and it's one of my favorite dies it comes out so well and just um the detail on it is just gorgeous so i had to use it in some of these cards it just went it just went with it it just went so well with it i might like this the best because of all the blues and the golds ah sparkle blue it just blue is my favorite color so this worked out and that is my final card right there oh. all right so number five number five i went real deep with the golds and the purples which isn't is one of the reasons this is probably my second favorite card of the five <laughs> And this was the one card that I actually got the seahorse pattern paper to go correctly on it. So that was awesome. Um, I did emboss the purple mat with a dot embossing folder that I have from Queen & Co. in their bundle. And then I didn't have a whole lot of gold left. Um, so I did just use some strips um, that I got from cutting an inside portion and this was the outside frame portion and so then I just stuck that on the edges and it looks like it's the entire mat so fun things to do with card making techniques to make your stash go farther plus you start to feel like a hoarder with all the little pieces that you keep though because they all have potential have you seen that uh reel lately don't be a hoarder, don't be a hoarder, don't be a hoarder. But it has potential. Yes, that is every card maker ever. Um, you also see that at the edge of this um, gold mat, it looks pieces have been cut out of it. Um, that's actually going to be hidden here in a minute. So your, your mats don't have to be perfect. They don't. Use what you have. Use your scraps. That's what you need to do. I am using foam tape to bump that up just to give it a little bit more dimension. I don't know about anybody else, but I struggle with foam tape and my scissors. It just, this, these scissors are supposed to be for adhesive, like they're non-stick scissors, and I still struggle with them. And then the thank you is from a, a scrapbook.com die set that I received as a prize from the Make and Take a Club with uh, Lauren made, Lauren Taylor made. Um, if you saw those other videos on my channel, you would have seen me do three different cards with those die sets. Um, and then here I'm using them again. So especially when it comes to sentiment dies, I feel like there's lots of ways to use them and get creative with them and really make your investment um, go further so it just it just fits so perfectly just using liquid glue on that um, to really stick it down um, my glass mat is just covered in adhesive glue and all kinds of things <laughs> so anywhere i can make it simpler on myself here and trying to figure out where I want the starfish to go. I wanted to add a little bit more um, embellishments, really use up the die cuts that came with the kit. Even though we created 15 cards in these next three videos here, um, I still have a ton of those die cuts left over. And, and like I said, I only used six sheets of the paper pad and it's a 24 page paper pad. So lots to go. And these are all five of those cards. Like, subscribe, and continue watching for part two and part three. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.